And here she is now, the artist of the moment, Miss Yvonne Sterling, right here on our stage. Hi, Yvonne. Good night. Good evening. How is you? How are you? I am well. I yes. am well. What a pleasure it is to have you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I've been always wanting to come on your program. Yes. On stage for years. Oh, wow. And God just make it happen now, so. Oh, my dear. Well, it's great to have you. Yes. The pleasure I, is ours. Yes, I have to thank Mr. Richie Stephen. Yes. And Lenny, little mm -hmm. Lenny. Yes. Because you know, they look into what is happening to me and record me and, you know. Yes. It's wonderful for my meet them. Yes. You know, it's not bad at all. So when you went on that video mm -hmm. and spoke to them about your condition. Yvonne Sterling. This is my name down here. Y V O N N E. Yes. Did you ever imagine that it would change your life? No. No. You know, when I, this thing happened to me when I was living in a place called New Heaven. Mm -hmm. That is next door to any park. And there is a river around the back of the yard. As a matter of fact, there's a river around the back of every yard in New Heaven. Yes. You know? And when the rain fall, you remember that hard rain that fall? Mm -hmm. Yes. In November? Yes. The water came up. The river swelled when the rain fall. And you couldn't walk through no street. Mm -hmm. There was so much water. Lenny was telling you. Yes. Yes. And it's the, it, you, the video shows it very clearly. Yes. You couldn't walk through my yard. Yes. You know, I lost everything in my house. You know, and um, I nearly drowned. Mm -hmm. You know, so every time I hear the song, it makes me cry because yes. the Lord just send them like angels for me. You know? And right as I met them, things just start to turn. Yes. Just start to turn. And where are things now? Where, where are you? Where are I'm you? living in Portmore. You're in Portmore now. Yes. You've moved since. Yes, yes. And you're comfortable where you are? Very comfortable. Yes. I'm not living in a big house, mm -hmm. but the room and the kitchen, the bathroom, you know, it's quite normal for me. Yes. Because where I'm coming from, I didn't have those things in New Haven. You know, it's a tenant place and I have to be sh using things with other people and everything. But where I'm living now, me alone. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you know. Oh, just you alone? Yes. So what about family, your own family? I have family. Mm -hmm. I have three sisters. One of them is living here. Two is in Canada. You know, I have a brother mm -hmm. who is living here. One is in Queens. You know, I have a brother in Queens. Mm -hmm. I had one daughter. Yes. One child, but she's passed away. She's dead, you know. Oh. And I'm from sorry. she yes, and from she died, she died in North Carolina. From she died, things just start moving away with me because she used to really look after me. Mm. She um she left five kids though. She had five kids in North Carolina. They are all Americans, you know, and mm -hmm. they're living there. Did you live there? No. Oh, you never I've never traveled, no. You've never traveled off the island? No. Oh. No. So with all the big songs you've done and mm -hmm. all the... I did a song in the 70s, yes. 1976, called If You Love Me, Let Me Know. If you love me, let it be. If you don't, then set me free. That was a hit song, was Yes, it? yes. I did it for a man called Junior Chang, mm -hmm. a Chinese man at a place in the village records it is um his store what's called a village records yes in constant spring plaza mm -hmm. you know and everybody who knows the song and he, he released it all over the world all over the place he didn't give me anything for it you know oh. it's a country and western song though it's not an original mm -hmm. it was song it's a remake yes mm -hmm. yes by me Yes. You know, it was sung by Olivia Newton John mm -hmm. called If You Love Me, Let Me Know, you know, and I'm the only artist in Jamaica who ever did it that. So. But isn't your voice on a number of other records? Yes, yes. I was born at 
the big yard downtown, mm -hmm. 135 Orange Street. Yes. Where Dennis Emmanuel Brown was born. Big and, yard. Yes. And Dennis and me, we grew up from we were babies, you know. We creep and crawl up and wow. down and run up and down. Yes. And we realized as children in the yard from we were like six, five, six, seven years old, mm -hmm. that we could sing, you know. Yes. That we had talent, just the two of us. And the yard was full of children. Yes. It, and it was a tenement yard. A tenement yard. And oh, up to now, it's still a tenement yard. Because mm -hmm. it's still there, 135 Warren Street. I've been down there all the time. I never stopped going down there. Yes. Yes, that's my place where I was born and grown. I passed through all the time, you know? So um, it's still there with a lot of kids and people moving up and down, you know? Yes. So what happened to you? You know, what caused you to be living the way you were living? Why didn't you achieve more? I'm afraid of the business. Mm. I'm telling you, Wilmford. I've been in the business from I was 15 years old. And I've seen a lot of things. A lot of women artists, they don't want to talk. Yes. But I'm not going to really come out and call people's names and talk about them just like that. I'm afraid, Winford. They will kill me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I've done a lot of recordings over the years. Remember, is me and Dennis Emmanuel Brown was growing. Oh, yes. Nice. I was born in a musical community, a musical house. Yes. The big yard is a musical house, and that's where I was born. Mm -hmm. So I've seen a lot of artists over the years coming through and forth the yard. Musicians and everybody, you know? Yes. And I've done a lot of recordings for people in the business, and they rip me off. They don't give me no money. They just, when I see them and I cry and say, you know, I'm broken, I'm, I'm, I'm really desk, you know, I, I want something to, you know. Uh, they give me like $500, $3,000, and you know, they don't come out of themselves and say, oh God, this lady is a lady who can sing. Mm -hmm. Let us help her, you know, they don't do that. And you'd be very surprised to know the people who do these things to me. I'm not even saying nothing about them, calling their names or anything. I'm scared. Even now? Of course I'm scared of them. If I talk the things I see them do to artists, this time is not the time for people to joke mm -hmm. and to take it for a joke. You talk things about people and you say things about people, they will hurt you. So I'm only glad that I'm still alive, Winford, mm -hmm. and kicking, you know? Oh, yes, and, you're kicking. Yes, I'm still, I still have my gift that God gave me. Oh, yes. You know? And I can sing. I can sing everything. I think I was telling Lenny or somebody today that I can sing jazz, I can sing blues, I can sing reggae, I can sing soul, I can sing calypso, I can sing anything, gospel, anything, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm gifted. Oh, yes. I'm not just a person with a voice. I've got a talent. And a talent is different from a voice, you know? So, Dennis and myself, we were born with talents. You know? And we realized that from we were babies in the big yard, you understand? How do you feel about this song, this, this record that with I Richie and yourself and, and Lenny, little Lenny? I think it's a wonderful song. You know, Mr. Winford Williams, all of the years I've been in music and I've been recording for so many different people. When I record songs, I always laugh and take it for a joke. And mm -hmm. I always feel happy, you know, 
but this song makes me sad. I cry. See, you played the, the, the thing a while ago, and I just start crying. They say it's crying for joy, mm -hmm. and they are said tears of joy. But the song moved me. It really moved me, you understand? And I'm thankful to Richie for that, uh -huh. because he's a wonderful person, yes. And he's in actually right most of it. It's a Bob Marley song, you know? Yes. You know? Yes. And he just write. And it fit the song so much. And I bring it out properly, too. If you listen to it. Yes. I like it. It makes me cry all the time. Let's go to it right now. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done for me. You took my life and your blessing. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Definitely a tear jerker. This one featuring. Thanks. 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 Thank you, Lord, for another chance to sing. Yes, Winfrey. So I'm still here, you know? I'm still yeah, here. I feel you. I'm still here. And. <clears throat> What I would like to get, though, yes. is shows, you know? Because I can perform, and I know a lot of songs, you know? Now and again, you know, if I could get a few work, you know, shows, that would help me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah. Well, in our world, I, on this Christmas weekend, you know, this, I'm moved by this because this song was written by the King, yes. Bob Marley, remade by through Richard Stevens, Little Lenny, Yvonne. and Yvonne to help her. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the great work. That's the work. Yes, sir. The body of work by those who had nothing mm -hmm. like you. Yes, sir. Like Dennis Bell. Yes, sir. Like Bob. Yes, sir. That's it. Here it is. Yes, sir. It is, it is revitalizing your life. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, and that's the work that we need to preserve, all of us in Jamaica. Yes, sir. This is the work that will save lives. Yes, sir. Okay? And uh, I'm so moved by it. And, um, and to see you here sitting yes. with me. And I would like to say, that the people in the musical industry mm -hmm. should take it more seriously and help one another because it can really move the country too. Yes. You know, it's a business and it's a business that can help a lot of people. So they shouldn't, you know, just concentrate on ripping off artists and taking everything for themselves. They must come out of themselves and help so that others can help others, you know. Mm -hmm. yes, that's what I would like to live to see. Yes. Oh, Yvonne, I, I'm so happy you've come to our stage and share yes. your story with us. Yes, sir. We hope you will continue to thrive. Yes, sir. I hope you will get the support, the help. I hope you'll be booked. Yes, sir. I hope you'll find your place. Yes, sir. In music. Yes, because when, when, when I'm doing music and when I'm singing on stage, that's the happiest time of my life. Yes. I don't love nothing like music. Only God. My dear, <laughs> this music of ours has saved so many lives. It's true. It has given life to so many around the world. Yes, sir. And, you know, it's, it's unbelievable, the power of reggae. Yes, sir. It's true. Yeah? It's true. And um, anyway. And I hope to come back. I hope so. Honestly. I look forward to that. Yes, sir. We want you to come back as much as you want. Yes, sir. And, and keep, uh, keep us, update us on, on your story, on your development, yes. on your new lease on life. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have her right here, <laughs> Yvonne Sterling.